The EP League, being one of the most competitive leagues in South Africa, took place on the 9th of March between the Cowie River and the Fish River Point. We chose to start at Kleinemonde Point specifically. Okay, boys and girls, there's nothing like a good, uh, good bit of uh, cardio in the morning, yeah. But what an awesome, awesome area to fish. We're between Fish River and the Cowie, Port Alfred, on the Eastern Cape. And here we at uh, Kleine Monde is in the back there. We walked around here, and then if you follow right through, you go to Reach River. In between these three sisters and stuff, popular spots. A lot of folks will pack in these little bays today. See, it's flat, clean. Uh, we're just checking what Valdo's doing. We're going to steal his fish. But I'm just joking there because we're in the same club. We want him to catch fish. So Tyron is joining us today fishing wise, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm going to opt for two different baits. What, but we'll see what works and then uh, we'll share it with you guys. The anticipation is always high on the first cast. Should you go for the early morning raggy, or should you start with a smaller bait to open up your options and get points on the board? One of the St. Croix anglers were first to go tight, which looked like a decent fish. Unfortunately, this one got away. The first bite seemed to be on a shorter cost. Volga Klein from Cape St. Francis was quick to add some points on the board with a striped catch -hawk. Another striped catch up followed quickly. I wasn't that lucky and ended up getting a shy shark. And then the action started, with Mark being the next one in line. In Mark's favour is that he's got a lot of experience on playing a Monda point and fought the fish exactly where it's safest to land it. The fellow anglers on the rock normally shows good sportsmanship, even though they're from opposition clubs to assist in landing. And with that, the first bronzy was landed, totaling in over 40 kilograms. Well done, Mark. Next up, Stefan from Green Bushes had his turn in fighting one of these lovely fish. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't on when this fish popped off, but Stefan valiantly ran after to try and grab the fish.
It wasn't long and Mark was into another good fish. He was definitely doing something right and landed a fish bigger than the first one with about 10 kilos. And after that, it was Valdu's turn to join the fun. And what more can you ask for? Being totally buckled with dolphins jumping in the background. Valdu made easy work of this fish and landed it safely. Shortly after, Mark landed his third bronzy for the morning and was definitely doing something right. This area is also well known for very good sized spotted gully sharks as well as smooth outs. Only this one small spotted gully came out, caught by a Valdu claim. And again Mark was onto a fish and landed a smaller bronzy, but this is his fourth fish for the morning, confirming that he was doing it right. And then as it happens with bronze whalers, more of them came through a short while later, which looked like a triple up and turned out to be a double up, but two anglers in on the same fish. The first bronzy was landed and Stefan and Devon was having it out. In cases like this, the hook in the mouth is who the fish belongs to. In this case, it was Stefan's fish as his hook was in the mouth. Valdu got stuck into a really good fish as we all saw it jump in the back. It was well over 100 kilos. Unfortunately for Valdu, this fish came off. Stefan was also having a really good day with another small bronzy on the board. In the last few minutes of the day, Divan went tight on a bronzy as well. By now we've heard from all over the areas that several bronzies, some diamonds, and some other good fish were hooked. Divan ended the league with this nice bronzy. And as it goes, not everyone gets exactly what they came for, but at Klangamonda Point, several anglers did very well.